My friends, this is a follow-up video. I've been doing these periodically about the construction at UNC Health Blue Ridge in Morganton, North Carolina. This is our hospital. You see the welding going on down there in the lower right. I like to, from time to time, do these flights and so do uh, the administrators and all at the hospital. They like to see what the construction looks like from the air. So that's one of the jobs that I do here. I try to do it maybe every couple weeks, do a flyby. I'm real cautious. You'll see how slowly I'm moving here. Um, real cautious because there's just all kinds of things you can hit and the cranes swing around and stuff so you're not going to see any acrobatic flying. Looks like my gimbal might be tilted a little bit there. I'm going to have to go back and recalibrate that. But still, this is fun to watch. So this is the addition that's going to be adding you know, almost half again. Uh, in other words, it's almost going to double the size of our hospital. It, it, it's huge. And so you got, what, six floors. Uh, one of those floors is going to be a mechanical floor. I think that's the one kind of dead center there. It's a little bit taller than the other floors if you look at it. But they're going to have all the mechanical stuff on that floor. But I thought I would just uh, get some close-ups. and I, I got some really interesting stuff. Now, I, I'm just now looking at this the first time myself. All I've seen is it monitored through my cell phone. So you're going to see me moving real cautiously. I'm going to check over here and see where the crane is. They have a little small crane. They've, they've taken the big crane down. I wanted to see kind of what's on the floors and get down a little bit lower. This is neat. It's neat to be able to see what's in the hospital, uh, the new hospital, while the walls are not up. There's what I'm looking to avoid is that thing there. And so I'm, I'm judging that they're not doing anything with it and I'm going to be far enough away. That's not really a crane. What is that? Just a big lift. I could say they got rid of our crane last week. We had a crane that was 300 feet tall it was unreal, but they uh, disassembled it. We didn't have to move any more steel into place. And now they have a new elevator on the back side, and I, I didn't see it at first, but you'll get to see that here in a minute. Uh, one of the things I thought was really interesting is they're on the top floor up there. You see there's some sparks on the very tip top up there now and again. Uh, there's a guy there, I guess, cutting holes through the steel in the, in the roof so they can put stuff through there. And we'll get to see some massive sparks and stuff fly here in a minute. Yeah, these guys here, I wanted to see whether I guess they're lifting some sort of beam into place. And some other guys start to notice that the drone's out there. I guess they can hear it. You know, strangely enough, you'd think it'd be super loud out there. But it's, at this point, it's not. It's uh, pretty peaceful and quiet. Looks like they're putting some structure in there. That Maybe that's stuff that... I don't know what that is. I, I, I have to admit, I understand nothing about the construction of a big steel building. But I see they have poured concrete there. Uh, each floor, the, st the steel has a big bunch of like galvanized underneath it and they pour concrete on top of it and then they put the flooring down on top of that. But when we rise up here in the top in a minute, you'll get to see all these crazy cool uh, sparks flying down through the roof from up above. A guy is up on the very tip top up there and he's shooting, uh, he's welding or cutting, I guess cutting steel down through that. You'll see here in just a minute. I was going to see that it seemed like there was a, I think these guys up here on the top, I got close enough to them, they come over and say, what's that? Look at that drone flying there. Most of the guys there, they, they realize that, oh, of course, I don't know, there are probably people switching in and out all the time, but most people, that's those guys on the top, they see it. <laughs> say, what the dick, what the dickens is that? What's that guy doing? There's some of the sparks over to the right. I'll turn around and look at that. I mean, I, I, I say, well, I'll go over here and just aggravate them a little bit. I'll see what they're up to. They think they're getting spied on. Look at him. He waved at me. Cool. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Check this out here. There's a dude up here. He's cutting holes in the steel. And it like pours a bunch of sparks down. I should have gotten down below it better. Look at this. Look at that guy. Watch this. Boom. Check that out. I just think that's pretty wicked right there now. What is he doing? It's excellent, whatever it is. I like that. I've watched that for a good little while. And then he, then he sort of quit here in a minute. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a splash of, uh, of sparks coming down to the lower floor. Maybe you folks that have done some construction before can tell me what that guy's doing. Uh, I would value your input in the comments here. I think that would be super cool. So I watched this for a good little while. And then I realized that, I mean, when I took off to fly, I only had maybe two-thirds of a battery. So I had to uh, 
back out and do a good look over everything. Now this is the part of the hospital that we're looking at here, this top. This is where they're going to be landing the helicopters. So there's going to be a helicopter pad up here. I'm ex not exactly sure how and why it's going to be, or how it's going to be laid out, but I'll, as it starts to take shape and develop, I'll share that with y'all. A lot of folks around Morganton are watching these videos to see, you know, what it looks like. They're all curious. You can see it from Interstate 40, all the construction going on, but you, until you drive up, or especially if you've got a drone, you come in, you know, and, and people are not inviting it. I, I have the liberty to do a drone because I work here. Because helicopters do land over there, I keep a very careful eye out to make sure that there's nothing. See, on the hill back there behind the tower now, there's a helicopter pad. You can see it there, the round thing. So I do a quick uh, pass around the entire project. And I'll do this so I can take steels and send them to our uh, admin team. Looks like they're putting, starting to put walls up there on the back side. Here's that elevator I was telling you about, the part of the orange thing. Look at it, check it out. And I was tempted to go back in and watch it go up and down a time or two. Um, as I said, my battery was getting starting to get weak. The retaining wall back there is just huge. I have a big retaining wall. There's a guy doing some welding there on that side. So I back out. I do one more quick pass to, uh, that's Interstate 40, I was telling you, off to the, in the background there. But uh, I do one more quick high shot so I can give them the good overall uh, screen captures. What I do, I fly this thing, shoot it all, and I think it's 5.3K that the Air 2S will shoot. Mavic Air 2S, 5.3K, and I try to get a bunch of images, blow it up on a big screen that I have here in the office, and then do screen captures for them. Now I'm looking for myself. I'm going back to where I'm located, which is down there under that tree, that red car is me. That's where I've been flying from. And folks, that's it. That's all the, for this one. Thought I'd let you see this. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.